in in simple terms, the 30, 80, 60 targets focus is really on the community. The first target of 30 is that treatment and testing services should be delivered by community-led organizations. The second, which is 80, is that 80% 80 of the prevention intervention should also be delivered by community-led organizations, particularly for key populations. And the third is about 60% of societal enabled that should also be delivered by community-led organizations. This is about unblocking the barriers that impede uh, the AIDS response. I think even the 30, 80, 60 is one example of how NASA uh, we've tracked expenditure since the beginning of age response and evidence has shown that we were not investing in us in certain interventions and therefore even the development of those targets has been an influence of the resource tracking. We have a lot of work that we do in supporting countries to develop global fund proposals. We use NASA data to influence how those investments are made. Uh, we have had countries develop uh, prevention strategies and resource mobilization strategies based on our evidence. And in this workshop, we had very great examples. Uh, we had yesterday from Kazakhstan, we had about from Ukraine, and this morning we had from Thailand and Nepal in terms of how they have used their NASA data to influence their national strategies for HIV and also their investments in terms of the intervention that they want to take. And the message that is coming out of this is that we are not investing enough in prevention. And the only way we can sustain the gain that we have made in the HIV response is by going back to the basics, getting prevention on track, investing more in prevention so that we can close the tap rather than keep on having a tap that is running 